Hi friends, we are going to be talking today about post-operative instructions for uh, eye surgery, cataract surgery or LASIK surgery. What are the instructions to be done? Common instructions are just after the surgical procedure, we would uh, recommend you to be comfortable. If you want to take rest, uh, lie down for a while, please do lie down. and. Uh, uh, there might be a little amount of irritation could be there, watering, you could have some kind of a feel, uh, we'd give you a painkiller. We would have already given an uh, anti-anxiety tablet so that you are relaxed in the operation theater and uh, you don't have much pain. We are giving you local anesthetic drop. So uh, that when it bears off, maybe some amount of irritation could be there, nothing to worry, right? Uh, just before you go out, we would give you instructions regarding the drops, medications which you should follow. The three important medications which are given at Sashi Eye Care are these. these this is the first drop, number one, it will be written over here and a post-operative post instruction manual also will be given to you uh, in writing. The number one drop should be used, it's called Zimox D. Uh, the it, it would be the first two days for every two hours then after that four times daily for one week three times daily for the second week two times uh, two times for the third week and uh, one time for the fourth week right this is number one drop after this the second and third drop two minutes apart should be given this is an uh, nsai non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drop to reduce the inflammation in the eye. This is an antibiotic and anti-inflammatory uh, drop this is. And this is a lubricating drop to prevent dryness. So these three drops, these two drops should be applied <clears throat> three times daily for about a month. Any medication which you have been following uh, should not be stopped rather uh, for sugar, BP, uh, cholesterol, any of those cardiac drug or tablets which you are taking, please continue taking it. Uh, meal can be had, uh, not too heavy meals, but anything can be eaten. Uh, main important thing, avoid dust. Avoid going to dusty areas. Uh, we are, we will be giving you a protective glasses. Please use them uh, whenever. No, you are going to a dusty place or even at home for about a week. Right? And uh, this is the post-op glasses. Please avoid uh, uh, contact with uh, children who might just barge into your eyes. Uh, avoid using contact lenses, eye makeup, um, so on and so forth. But uh, driving can be done. Uh, cooking can be done with protective glasses um, and uh, small um, weights can be lifted nothing to worry because uh, in the older surgeries they were they used to tell that you should not shake your head you should not talk uh, so on and so forth so watching TV cell phones can be avoided for the first two three days and uh, apart from that uh, head bath to be avoided uh, for at least a week uh, cleaning the eyes is very important with uh, either a wet cotton or a lid wipe which we'll be providing to you and uh, while using the drops best is to uh, you use a punctal occlusion you know, close the punctum over here this is how you need to close and so that the drop doesn't go into the throat and cause irritation of the throat or uh, nasty feeling in the throat right so Anything other than that, you can feel free to ask us any doubt specifically you have. This is the number which is given below and please subscribe to our channel to know more details about all the other things which we have told about the eye, about the general health, about management, about psychologically keeping fit, about eye exercises, acupressure, etc. Thank you. I am Dr. Sashi for H2O channel. Thank you.